Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to Conglomerate 451. So this is today's gameplay showcase and it's a grid-based dungeon crawling first-person RPG with roguelike elements which is set in a cyberpunk world. We're gonna be uh, controlling a team of operatives that are gonna go into the dangerous underworld, underworld of this cyberpunk city and we're gonna be doing missions. Now, uh, Conglomerate 451, it's being developed by Runeheads and published by 1C Entertainment and it released on Steam Early Access last May, actually. But now it's leaving Early Access on, I believe, 20th of February, so I decided to give it a try before it fully releases to see how well it aged through its process in the Early Access. Uh, so I played through like a tutorial-ish first mission just to you know get a feel of this and we're gonna go through uh, it all together now and give it a proper try a bit deeper into the game. Uh, as always if you like what you see over here go check it out on Steam. There's gonna be a Steam page down below in the uh, description and if you like the game you know consider supporting the devs and buy it. But for now let's begin. So new game start the first one create and we're gonna go with a story mode which lasts for 75 weeks or you can also play for endless mode where you can you know continue just playing with new and new content after you beat the game which is kind of cool on difficulty we're gonna go with normal i think that's the best uh, uh, when you check out new games so let's go in in the year of 2099 the city of conglomerate is at war sector sector 451 has become the central battlefield Corrupted corporations control every criminal activity, making arrangements with the gangs of outlaws. As an extreme measure, the city's government has assigned special powers to private agencies, making legal the use of battle clones. Ooh, I think that's going to be our soldiers. Their missions clean up the city from crime and restore order at all costs. All right, I'm ready. Show me what we can do. Agency Valhalla. All right, this is our headquarters, I guess. I believe this tiny little robot uh, goes with us on missions. When do you want? The operator will open the radio contact with the squad. Alpha team, can you hear me? I analyze the area, and I suggest you land at the edge of the 756 district. The lab is located in the northern area, but it will be protected. You will have to pay attention. Remember the mission's objective, to find the virus before it's synthesized and put on the black market as a bacteriological weapon. I will stay in touch via radio. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. So in this in this game we play as this guy is the director who controls the units in the battlefield he gives them orders what to do and they do that uh, I think they're called battle clones as we've seen earlier now this first mission this is kind of a tutorial mission uh, it is designed in a way that you will fail I don't think you can beat it at least the game tells you that you know you can't beat it so uh, it is designed that way but then onwards to glory next mission should be proper Headquarters, do you receive the image? Yes, we hear you. The line has been established. The game is on. The squad must stick together. These are our options, so uh, we can walk and remember that the main commands. here and there, left to right. Uh, you can see that uh, over here, uh, these white lines on the floor are going to guide us right now where we can go. We can also look around with a mouse a bit. But otherwise, this is this is where we go, and this is going to be our first combat. We're going to engage these cyberpunks, and over here you can see the combat mode. It is as you would uh, expect from any roguelikes. You know, you, you have uh, your people, and they're going to go in order. So first three are going to be our guys. Each of them has their own unique skills. These are their portraits, their HP, their shields, all that kind of stuff. Their battery levels. We're gonna get more into that. So, uh, on this lady that is going first, we have Accurate Shot, we got Blast, we got Death Shot, and we got Torment. I believe Blast is an area damage, so since there's three units, we're gonna just blast them right now. 
And that was pretty effective, especially on this guy. So the next lady over here, she's got more of a supportive role, you can see. So she's got a special to remove shock and give them extra initiative. Uh, regen for healing and purification tag to remove all debuffs and give them resistance. But for now, she also has cheap shot and I think she can use that cheap shot. You can also see that you can target uh, their limbs and such. Uh, I don't know how effective these things are quite yet. I've not played enough to have a good idea, but maybe we can, I don't know, slow this thug who has a melee weapon, so maybe he's gonna have more issues coming towards us. That also, I think, healed us all, gave us all extra 10. You can see that she has special effects against marked. And he might be marked? I don't know. Uh, in any case, so these guys both have not much HP. So I'm just gonna use uh, this one, this guy over here, you can see he has attacks and he also has a barrier, a defensive skill. Also conflagrate, which is a big area effect, so that might kill both of them, so let's try that. And it did kill one, they shot at us. This guy is on the edge of death, as you can see. So he's definitely ready. Now, let's go maybe torment. This guy's not gonna go for a while, so we don't really need to target him. Uh, I'm gonna go torment this guy. So this is basically enemies become uh, contaminated by radiation and take 30 damage per turn. Or is it 30% 30, 30 of damage per turn? Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's uh, shoot him in the torso. And I just murderized the guy. Cool. Which means we shouldn't have really any big issues hitting this guy. Now, I don't see that we really took much damage from that shot earlier. Uh, so, he is dying, but hey, calm it over. Great clash. But Thank you. Never underestimate I shall not. It could be fatal. Now, they also dropped this, this uh, thing over here. We can pick these bad boys up, and these give us, you can see, credits, tech, lifeline, and some other stuff that I don't quite know exactly what it is yet. So, we can continue onwards to glory over here. Uh, and look around since this is tutorial mission, you know, we don't have that many options to go anywhere Yes, uh, we can uh, I believe uh, open the map and all that stuff that uh, we can do Later on, but for now we're gonna go into the elevator as the game told us and we're gonna go onwards to glory I hope this is this isn't too loud actually. It feels a bit loud <laughs> So yeah, this is gonna lead us to the I think the end of the first mission soon okay this is the mission map yes 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 we can open the mission map and we see there's not much here there's not much around here so this gate gives us I believe the option to hack it, it seems locked you will have to look away to open it so we can try hacking it and you can see that each of these guys have their hacking skill the best seems to be Requiem with 20% hacking. It's also going to take some of her battery. And now we can hack. So, to open the door, you must rotate the logical disk matching up the shapes, which we shall do. We have to act quickly because we don't have that much remaining time. So, let's do that. And let's rotate them around a bit. Something like this. And it's going to open the door. Good job. We also have this bad boy over here, which gives everybody 25 battery. And of course, we could also explore this over here, but I don't think there's anything we can click on over here. I think it's mostly just uh, decoration. There's also a spinner of the red sharks. We can also engage them right now. That's a long range engage there. And enemies can also be hacked, right? So we can use our special Shout action. And do use the combat hack, and we also have uh, skipping the turn using drugs, character sheet, shield recharge, move squad. That doesn't even know, don't even know what exactly it is. So you can see they have 750 shield, uh, 40 HP, uh, zero pain right now, zero intoxication, full battery, and normal DNA. And uh, no update has been installed. So we're gonna see if we can do the hacking so over here in the hacking option we have many options so we can hack the their core system to collect data about them i can reduce their base damage it's gonna uh, take half of my battery now i can uh, make them uh, less resistant to mark effects or i can make them less resistant to debuff effects so let's maybe go with um reducing their base damage and we're gonna target them they have been ambushed 
And I guess we succeeded, I think. Okay, good. Okay, let's uh, abort this action. So now we can start. That was her turn, you know, the hacking. I believe we can always do this. Skipping turn, moving, shield recharge, character sheet. I don't think we need to do any of that, but uh, let's uh, use cheap shots. Maybe I can slow her down a bit, so. She already has less base damage. She resisted all of that, but uh, we did deal damage to her shield, so. Uh, we could also stun her. Distance is out of range on this one. Oh. Uh, we surprise her too slowly. Can you use Conflagrate? No, everything is out of range of you. Well, then just do a barrier on all of us. I guess that's useful. There you go, everybody's got extra defense. I think you should be able to shoot her. Yes, you can. Now, she's not marked. So you can't, we shouldn't really be using that shot. But we can use Torment, let's say. That seems pretty good. And she's irradiated. She doesn't have much HP, so I think if I just shoot her in the face, that should do it. Good job. So you can see over here, uh, her battery level is not that good. Let's see what we got out of that. Bunch of credits, tech, lifeline, all that good stuff. So let's go onwards to glory. The door is protected by advanced mechanisms, so she's gonna open it. And she wants to go scan the area using the shift. So what we can do is... Yes. And that, that is, I believe, is the thing where we can try extracting the SPU. Choose the agent for SPU's extraction. I actually tried doing this uh, when I did the tutorial and I failed badly. So I think I'm going to do that again. Probably going to fail. It's not that easy, actually. It doesn't feel easy. So uh, the way this works is we're going to be clicking on this small thing over there. Okay, you're extracting SPUs from device. Yes, we can we can get these or that thing, you know, I don't know if it's all together or not. So basically we have to click when one of these, this is gonna continue turning around. We have to click when this hits that. And to be honest, I was very bad at that. Uh, like that, like that, like that, too late, I think. Okay, I did two and <laughs> <laughs> it feels just like ah, oh, that's not my game. Rate C minus, definitely commitment. Wow. The next time tries to be more precise. Luckily, All I'm right. the problem. Screw you. I open the door. Hey. That's I tried, okay? Okay, so we're engaged and we have ten turns to kill this thing, or I should say nine now, before the bomb, the bomb goes up and hurt. kills us everybody. So this is I believe the the mission that you're not even supposed to win so hey we're just gonna blast these guys and see if we can uh, deal some damage with them maybe cheap shot one of these weird dogs i don't think that did that much to them let's use aoe sure see if we can burn the dogs they're coming oh, that one shot at us the big boys also are coming he also shot at this guy Taking some of the shield. So let's see if we can take this one out with some uh, very accurate shots. Maybe not. How about I shoot you in the head? 84, that's 94. Let's just shoot you in the torso, sure. Oh, yeah, that just destroyed him. I'm gonna see if I can stun this man. He doesn't hit us. He got crit but resisted. Yeah, I think he's buffing himself now. She's debuffed. Her initiative is crap. Okay, but she's still gonna act before the enemy's act, so that's not the worst. Uh, you use this on that little thing. Yeah, and then see if you can try stunning this big man again. I don't know, stun his face. Yeah, you stun him and his vision goes down, I guess, because we shot him in the face, so that's pretty good. Let's do torment on this nasty thing. Oh, that just murderize him. Good. So he's been stunned, so he passed his turn. So you're gonna keep on just, I don't know, shooting him in the face. It's piercing, but I think his shield is so high that we really can't do uh, much over here, and that's why you're not supposed to uh, kill him. I'm just gonna give everybody a barrier so everybody gets a bit more defense, and he's gonna be 
acting now. She resisted that. Okay, good. Let's uh, torment his head. He... you missed. Okay, well, let's... I don't know, cripple his arm or something. This is a cheap shot. Do that. He resisted that as well, but it did drop his shield a bit. The music is also rocking nicely. Let's see if he can uh, stun his head. And he's stunned, so he can't really act. Good, but you can see the turns are dropping quite uh, severely fast. He's resisting all of that. Bastard. Also, there's no real need, I think, for me to shoot him in the head. Which is just such a nice, nice face he has there. And he's buffing himself again. All right. Um, we need somebody to mark you. I don't think you actually have a mark. So for that death shot that does 70% more damage versus mark. So torment his left leg. We'll see how about that. He resisted it. How about doing that? He resisted that as well. I think he's a boss. He just resists everything. I don't know. Just, uh, do more stuns in his face. He has been stunned once again. Poor guy. He's just... Uh, he never can do anything, you know? Nice crit. We are actually almost taking his HP down, though. Just shooting him in the head. Oh, well, you missed. Ah, well, we're almost getting there, though. Didn't do much damage. Let's see if I can... If I can break his shield, actually. I think we might have done it. I think we might have broken his shield. Keep on shooting him in the head. Uh, I don't know, actually. Oh, you missed that one. And this is gonna be the last turn. And we're gonna all die. Yup. <laughs> Combat is over. Everybody died. Rip. As I said, the first mission is created in such a way that you fail but we got some reputation credits and tech and we shall continue now they all died in battle rest in pieces my friendly agents you shall be missed for forever the day after yes ah finally you have arrived Take a seat, please. So yesterday, you completed your last training mission. You failed. Every agent has died because of the bomb. But you need to know that the mission is a test impossible to beat. It's a classic Kabayashi Maru situation. The objective is not to beat the scenario, but to put you in a no-win situation and watch your reactions. And you did great. So starting today, you'll be assigned to a new agency in Sector 451. Well done, Director. Thank you. I appreciate that. I killed all of the agents. Thank you. Welcome, Director, to your new agency's headquarters. Are you I'm my Chris, new sex bot? your office assistant. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. If you don't mind, we need to fill out a couple of documents before you take office. No problem. Let's do it. Okay, so over here we can uh, rename this to Coco's uh, theme park. And we can grab the logo. This one, perfect. Thank you. Great. Appreciate it. Everything will be recorded and sent to the administration department. That's not needed. Now, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you into the agent's quarters. Thank you. Here you will meet your current agent squad. I appreciate that. Okay. I think the lady is going to let us play now. So this is going to be our headquarters, what we're going to be seeing now. So she is the uh, the head of the cloning center, Elise Delacroix. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, so she's the researching lady. So over here, we're going to be cloning new agents, right? Because we just lost all of them and we need new ones. We can also automod them. That's going to make them for us. But we're just going to make our three ourselves. Right now, we only have the ability to create soldiers, infiltrators and drifters. Uh, because the rest of these, we need higher rep. You can see for splicer, we need 10 rep, bodyguard, tacky, juicer, and binary. So we're going to create a soldier. Uh, we can, you know, look at how he looks and all that stuff. Uh, he's a soldier. He's trained agent for medium distance combat. He has uh, advanced tactical skills and is able to provide support to his allies. His equipment allows him to absorb large amount of damage without being wounded. So he's great. 
uh, great flexibility is his strength. Good defensive states, but he has limited range. That's his stats over here. HP, movement, all of that stuff. So we're going to select him. And now we get to select his four main abilities, as you can see. So I think we had a soldier before that had single shot, stunning shot, conflagrate, and barrier. And I think we're going to go with single shot over here. Stunning shot, definitely love that one. And then I think uh, we could give them defense. We could give them shield regen. Uh, since I think I kind of like the idea of shield regen. So I'm going to take that one. And instead of conflagrate, I might actually take barrier as well. So he's going to be more of a supportive character rather than being uh, offensive. Uh, since we don't have any other mutation uh, things right now, because we haven't done any research, we only can choose normal DNA. So we're going to take that and we can create this clone. He shall be printed beautifully in here from this beautiful skeleton onwards. This is slightly gross, but hey, it's like watching uh, altered carbon. You can also rename these guys, but I think Ty Tyrell Dolins is completely fine right now. We can also, I guess, change his color over here. Doesn't matter. Perfect. So we're gonna go create new uh, new ones. So we, now we have the ability to create Infiltrator and Drifter. Infiltrator is a lethal agent in range combat. She has an exceptional aim and her weapon allow her to make deadly attacks. She has well-trained reflexes and in combat she's always among the first to act. High damage, wide range, and she's weak physically. She has a bit less HP. That's okay. Uh, so you know that we had this one before. And uh, she had, I think, the accurate shot, which we're gonna take. Blast is an AoE. I would like to have one AoE damage, but Torment is also great. So I think I'm gonna take Torment. In fact, you know what? Let's go back. Let's not take accurate shot. This thing does pierce the shield. A bit of it. Hmm. Let's see. An accurate aim. It's a buff to self. Gives you extra crit and extra base damage. You know what actually I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you that, that. Hmm. I'd like to make you fully offensive, yes. I would like to hmm. Death Mark is also cool. And spark is remove stun. Sure, let's give you that. Let's give you torment. We I do want one with AoE damage and then the dash shot, I think. Actually, let's put dash shot on three and then blast AoE can be four and normal DNA. I'm gonna create a clone. Uh, I'm gonna skip this since we already seen this. The Android Judd seems perfect. And now another clone, it would be a Drifter. A Drifter is a trained agent to help allies with his abilities. He has skills that allow him to increase the statistics of other agents and he has a good knowledge of both hardware and software. So he enhances strengths of the uh, allies, but he has very low defense. Okay, so this guy has some special things like Electrocute. Uh, he has the death mark, so I think we're gonna take this because he can mark for our Infiltrator. So, uh, so her dead shots do more damage. So we're gonna take that. Brew weapon, this is uh, gives more damage to another friend. Medicine, removes the radiation status. Neurostimulator, removes shock. Okay. Mm. So let's give you something else. So electrocute, enemies uh, hit our shock. Let's give you that. Pulse is extra damage versus cyborgs and this thing uh gives you radiation piercing and shielding oh it's pretty nice actually we're gonna give you swift strike and then give you like improved weapons so you can boost uh your friends there you go okay and normal dna of course create a clone perfect let's skip that thank you philippe you're ready okay so we can go back to main office here we have our own quarters uh, where we can see the agents chilling and we could give them uh, some other stuff if we had anything really to uh, give them any upgrades or anything like that. Implants. Do we have these implants? No, we don't have the research for it. So we can't really do that. So we're going to just go back. But this is the place you can do it. Cloning center is where we create our uh, new soldiers. But 
right now we're fine we have three this is our research and here we can spend our credits and tech to start new research so we can uh, go look into all of these research trees you can see I can over here I can uh, unlock the cloning tech Thank you. So now we can go into these ones if you had enough tech, which we don't have right now, but it gives us new mutations. So this is plus uh, 10 to res uh, radiation resistance. This is one is plus 10 damage and plus resistance to shock. So can we click on healing research? No, we can click on healing tech over here and we can unlock this research. That's gonna then give us some later point. We need more reputation. It's gonna unlock more of the stuff. And then we have, I don't know, training tech. Uh, we can get more training stuff, military tech. We can get more military stuff and cyber tech. We can get more cyber stuff, which is 10K uh, research. Uh, so we can't even unlock that, but maybe you can unlock the military stuff. There you go. And that's all of our tech gone. So there you go. We have uh, some of that research. Good. Go back to main office. Health center is where we heal our boys if we need to. We don't have any need for healing. Graveyard is, you know, graveyard. This is our office where we can see uh, our max roster, all of this bonuses and malices that we have. And archive would be this guy who you bring kind of a quest items to him and he's going to do something with them but for now let's start a new mission i think it's about time we start a new mission this guy uh over here gives uh, uh our guard uh, guards <laughs> our people in the mission he gives them orders i give orders to him and this little flying thing is the camera out there on the mission so we're starting in the first area the hive and uh, there's still a mission success rate and then we can go onwards to the end hill sanctuary forge deep and spire as we go onwards these are the four uh, corporations that we're battling against these guys uh, have drugs drugs garbage contraband hey so we're gonna start a new mission and we're gonna probably have just an ordinary first mission uh, select mission a secret job you have a special assignment do uh, difficulties one classified assignment must be carried out your squad skills will be put to the test this is the credits and tech and reputation we get as you can see for our reputation at zero so we definitely need to have this higher uh, we need to get this reputation if you want to go onwards to glory and these are the three rookies that we have so i can't really change the information because we don't have anybody else so we're going to just start a new mission and we're going to dive deep into this thing just to see uh, how well we can do. Now, of course, uh, the maps are not necessarily linear. We can go around and explore more stuff. And I can guarantee you they are definitely different than uh, what they would uh, usually be. What is that thing there? Because, uh, as, I, as I said, I played through tutorial-ish mission. I don't know exactly what this is, but it's something. It's some kind of a point of interest. And uh, after that, I just started the second mission just to see how it looks. And it was definitely different than this one, so that's cool. Who are you, sir? Uh, welcome to the Ace Shop. Here you can find the best SPE. So we could buy something over here if you had the tech. We do not have the tech, so... Sorry, buddy. Not buying from you. We could also go that way. Interesting. So you can see it's not linear. You have uh, options. There's also whatever this thing is. I think it's another shop. There's nothing there. Okay. Hello, sir. Um, this is Gain Shop. You can find the best software for drones. And the items are not available. Alright. Well, I see some enemies down there. At least I think they're enemies. So we're going to go that way. Yeah, there's some red uh, sharks out here. I'm guessing you can always uh, also... Who are you, sir? You don't want to talk to me. You can avoid the enemies, potentially, if there's multiple ways. You are selling uh, the, S the best SPVs as well, but we don't have the ability to do so. Let's go fight the thugs. They seem both to be melee, so it's a good idea to be back here. Now, I could go and do a death mark, maybe, on this guy. Let's see. He got marked, but he resisted something. What did he resist? So you do have the AOE. So that shot, yeah, he is marked. So marked to so give us extra critical hit chance. So let's shoot him in the torso. He's so far away. That's pretty good. Nice. Um, I don't think we need to barrier ourselves right now. 
so just do a single shot on this guy. Let's see if you can take him out. We have 80 on his torso. Nice, good damage to this guy. He's coming closer. I don't know if he's gonna have the time to attack us. Yeah. He has pierced her, dealt a bunch of damage. And he's also coming. You're almost dead, dude. What are you doing? And he attacked him for some shield damage. That's okay. Alright, so let's maybe electrocute this man. That's not the best uh, chance. You yeah, don't have the best percentages. That's okay. Just uh, swiftly strike him. He's affected by radiation. He's on the floor. I think he should be dead by now. Uh, this guy is not marked or anything like that. So we're just going to give him torment. So that's going to irradiate him as well. There you go. They are both irradiated. Let's uh, let's use barrier on us. Let's give us some defense over here. I don't know if that's really needed, but sure, you know. Resisted, dealt some damage. That guy just died. And go ahead and electrocute him, because why not? <laughs> I wanted to try out. That was pretty solid. And you go ahead and he is already tormented, but torment him some more, because why not? And you could let's do let's do a stun on him so he doesn't get to act. He resisted, unfortunately, so he does get to act, but he missed. So here's just gonna perish now. Let's try uh, boosting her up, improving her weapon. There you go. She is now buffed. She has double the base damage. Nice. So just do like this ordinary shot to the head. And he's not quite dead yet, but he's gonna be dead with this next attack. There you go. Nice, we got two of these balls. We got a Helion one. And what else do we get? Credits, stack, and some lifeline stuff. Okay. Let's see. There's there was something over here, wasn't it? Where's this icon? I saw it. Oh, it's back here. Ah, yes. City service. You can buy services from hackers. Right, so we can spend a lot of money to get map and stuff like that. I don't think we're going to be doing that because we do not really have much money. So that's acceptable. Let's continue going this way. Any bad boys over here? Does not appear to be the case. And we definitely can't go that way. Looks like there's a, there's a guy chilling over here. Jeebus. It's, uh, it's kind of nasty, man. All right, we're gonna... Uh-huh. I wonder if we get, like, bonuses because we're gonna, like, ambush them from behind. I wonder if the battery you use is being deducted from your salary since you're not using it to regenerate your shields. Um, Wait, in what sense you have in a salary? Well, can we use that thing to regenerate our stuff? I don't know exactly how we would do that, actually. Use battery points to recharge shields. All right. Okay. I don't think that's really needed. Maybe her shields? Sure. I guess we could do that. It used 50% of her battery, but she's, she's fine otherwise. Uh, let's see if we can ambush these guys. From the back. Hey, we're up. We're back here. Yeah, they've been definitely ambushed, so that's good. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's death mark... Maybe this guy? Or should we just electrocute the guy? Can we? Maybe. Swift Strike is also good for radiation. Let's death mark that guy. Okay. Mark his uh, defense is down. So that shot deals extra damage versus mark. So... No, didn't do that much damage to him, actually. And let's... I'm guessing these two guys are not going to be fast enough to get over here. Since they're ambushed, they have less defense. Is that how it is? No, it just says the ambush. The less defense came from uh, uh, the mark. So let's see if we can stun this guy. I'm hoping the other two can't get here fast enough or close enough to actually attack me. Quite yet. All right, let's maybe electrocute that guy or buff her damage. That can also happen. All right, so she's got extra damage. You know what? Let's blast them. Now that you have extra damage. Mm, that didn't do that much. They crit her. That is not nice. 
let's shoot this guy in the torso. Let's take this range boy out. Okay, he's coming closer. Is he gonna be able to attack? He did. And she's, he's doing some uh, shield damage over here. You know, it's nice that he has that big sword, yet he uh, attacks in melee range. It's kind of cool. All right, let's see if we can get rid of that guy. Maybe swiftly striking him. Let's give him radiation. Oh, you missed. That's unfortunate. Uh, he should be still marked, right? Yeah. Okay, he's down. So we have to deal with these two boys now. All right, let's give uh, uh, some shields. Or defense, I should say. He's definitely destroying her uh, her stuff. Wow, you guys are, do not like her, do you? All right, uh, let me electrocute you. He resisted some of that stuff. Okay, uh, regen her shield. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. There you go. Sweet. She's resisting. I think that's a stun, maybe. Oh, no, that's definitely a stun. You dick. Stop stunning her. Okay, swift strike this guy. I think that's got some piercing stuff and radiation, so irradiate them. And let's stun this guy who is trying to stun us constantly. Did you stun? He resisted, I think. What a bastard. Now they're going for her. Or him. I think that might be a him. Okay, give this man some radiation as well. Oh, they're both affected by radiation. She's finally getting to act again. Uh, torment for more radiation. Why not? Ooh, that just killed the guy. All right, great Scott. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we don't really need to do shield regen quite yet. Let's see if we can get a stun on him. He's stunned. Good. 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 Let's onwards to glory and electrocute the man. Let's electrocute his head if you can. He's not wearing any head protection. He's slightly electrocuted. You torment his face. Good, you didn't quite heal, kill him. That's okay. We're gonna do a shield regen on you. I know I might be pushing it a bit, but that's okay. No, he didn't quite die. Yeah, well, he crit you. Um, fine. Let's electrocute the man and let's see if he dies now. He fell on the floor. Well, fine, just shoot him. There you go. Combat complete. Good stuff. We done it, boys. We done it. All right, onwards. Let's uh, pick this thing up. And we got some credits in tech. And there's some uh, ladies out here. Hello, ladies. Can we speak? Wow. What is... Jesus, I don't want to know. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the map. So we are back here. There's all of these things that we have seen. I don't know, just explore a bit around here. We have to find the elevator, I believe is uh, what the game told us. That brings us back to where we were before. This is where that guy was chilling on the floor. You can't really uh, do anything with him, fortunately. This is also a dead end, so that, yeah, that just brings us back. All right. I don't know if it counts turns, how long we take or something, if that's good or bad. But, hey, this is fine. There's the enemies as well. Here we go again. Hello, friend. You definitely came right in my face. Wow, that sounded wrong. <laughs> okay, let's uh, mark him. Good. Let's death shot him. Sweet. And do we get all some kind of a bonus? Thing. It's the same group that we had before. Uh, you will do that. Shield her up. Thank you. There's another man coming. This is the stun guy. Alright. Let's see. Let's do a swift strike on that bad boy back there. Let's hopefully get irradiated. Ooh, that yeah, that's that's some good damage. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can blast all of them. Yes, we can. He's a cyborg. They're all cyborgs, huh? Okay. The, the dude in the back is not chilling. It's not feeling that good. We're gonna shield everybody over here. I think that's gonna be chill. Let's uh, get us some extra defense. So the guy in the back is dead. 
She is a brute. Inactive and stunned. Wow, you guys hate her. Do not. Alright. Um, yeah, swift strikes for more radiation. You be radiated, radiated first. And let's also stun you so you can do more of your own stuns. He's no longer stunned. Alright. Um, let's give this guy some radiation as well. Oh, you missed. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's shoot him in the face. Oh, you missed as well. Oh, come on. Fine. Uh, shoot at you. Well, that was that was better. That was also piercing. I don't like that. Uh, let's yeah. Let's see if we can irradiate you now properly. He resisted the irradiation. What a dick. Shoot him in the face. Okay, that's better. Uh, you will regen her shield. I think I kind of like the ability to regen shields. I think that's it's pretty useful. Oh, nice miss, noob. Get good. Or something. Don't resist again. Oh, that destroyed him. Okay, good. Well, we got two items. Credit stack and something else. And more credits and tech. Good. And more something else. Okay, we can go into that sideway alley, I think. No, that I thought for a second that, that might be... Oh, didn't even see you there, lady. She is... Uh... She is a... Gun? Oh, your vision is bad. Oh, there's more. Hey. You know what? It's kind of obnoxious how this camera works. Because we can't even focus on both of them. Okay. Uh, I think I would rather focus on you, so let's see if we can, uh, mark you. You have been indeed marked. Let's see if we can, uh, shoot you now. Solid. Okay. Mm. Who's going next? She's going next, but we might be able to just murderize her. If you hit her. She's got no protection. Yeah, she's not gonna be feeling that good. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and give this guy some radiation if you can he's affected by radiation good now you go back and just take her out thank you and now we have to deal with this man who is trying to flank us that is not gonna go let's see if we can stun the man there you go good okay now we can now we can play with him as much as we want so give him a mark in his chest. We have 80% chance for that. Good. You shoot him in the face. Yes. Sweet. Um, do we need to regen shields? I don't think we do. So let's just, you know what? Let's just go for hopefully a kill. And he's on the floor. He's on the ground. He is fallen. Let's zap him with some electricity. And game over. Game walk? over, man. There he is. Wow. I don't need to be like that, okay? Okay, we got something blue. Uh, I think that's the elevator. Good. There's some implants over here. I don't think we can go there, though. I think that's the elevator that we wanted. So we can go explore a bit more. Okay, this connects us to where we were before with the ladies. So I was very close. Let's go check this uh, hidden area back here. I don't know if it's hidden, but, you know. There is something here. Uh, so you don't sell stuff that I could buy. Okay. Very hidden areas. And that's another vendor over there. Okay. Never mind. So we can we know. When we come back, we should organize a poker tournament. Yeah. yeah okay. I love poker. I never so we have uh, we have seen the whole map now, which is kind of cool. And let's go to the elevator now, which I'm guessing would lead us to the end of our mission. Let us do that. I'm very much ready. I'm guessing we might face another boss battle like we did like we did earlier uh, in our tutorial-ish mission. Or not. Wow. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, area information. The hive is a collection of apartments, corridors, walkways in the midst of semi-abandoned buildings. Once a residential area, the hive is now mainly inhabited by gangs of criminals and pariahs who cannot even pay this dwelling with the few credits they earn. Nothing in here. We need to find poison. Okay, so that's different. Thought we might have a boss battle or something like that. Can I do that thing? Does do does that do anything for us? I don't know. There's nothing there. There's nothing actually over here. Hello. Anybody around? This seems like a pretty Here we are. Our target is here somewhere. Oh, okay. Good thing you said that. Did that do anything? Did it select anything? I don't know. Is this the poison by any chance? We need a poison to kill the target. Oh. Okay, so we need to find the poison first. Is this the poison? No. Tech and stuff. Okay, so we. I guess we need to find the poison first and then we can come back here. All right, well, now we know. Let's go find a poison, I guess. Maybe in here. How do they manage to supply the hive with electricity and other services at the place that's officially uninhabited? Okay, we're gonna be fighting some big boys now, it seems. Hello, friends. I don't like those crits you're throwing out there. Let's irradiate, I guess, you. You're the fastest. Bullet, thug, and hound. Sure. Let's irradiate you. Nice. Uh, let's blast them, boys. He missed one. The blast doesn't do that much. Oh, he missed. What a pussy. Oh, you missed as well. Do we deal with the guy that is, like, in our face? This guy was most annoying. Let's see if maybe you can stun him. He's gonna also go first, I think. I don't know. I can't really tell by these things. Actually, let's, let's stun this guy that's in my face. If he can. He's obnoxious. Alright. Uh, let's give more radiation. Maybe to this man out back there. And he resisted. What a dick. Okay, fine. Let's do torment. Let's torment that guy. That should be okay damage. He has double radiation now. Shoot him. Shoot him, Bill. Okay, he's back. No longer stunned. Wow. Nasty damage. Okay. Um, death mark, electrocute. So shock is the, pretty much the same debuff. So let's just stack debuffs on this guy. He's gonna be taking uh, electrocute and shock damage constantly. Let's see if I can shoot this guy in the face since he's right here. Pierce the bed. Okay, he's not taking that much damage actually. All right, uh, regen her shield or his shield, I should say. Get that going. Stop shooting us. Stop shooting us. Our ins yeah, initiative went down a bit. All right. That you're correct. We could do that totally. We could do some combat hacking. What do we want to do? Not much, actually. So never mind. Oh, that was your turn now. Oh, that's that's bullshit. Don't do me like that, game. Let's see if we can take this man out. Wow, they are definitely not wanting to go out. Get her shield up. Good miss, bro. Good miss. Radiated. Okay. Uh, zap this boy again. His shield is down. Oh, you missed. God damn it. Okay. Get. Put that arm away. Stop blocking for him. I see what you're trying to do. Okay, that's better. Okay, one man down. Let's stun the face guy. Good. Mostly radiating you, but it's not the, the worst. Let's irradiate this guy in front of us. Oh, nice, nice damage. I think you can just take him out, huh? 
Uh, he's, he's dying. He's dying. Uh, any shield buffs that we need? Let's stun the man in the back. If we can. Good. Okay, he's dead. He's still taking some radiation damage. Let's go... See if we can irradiate him. Since you missed... Ah, oh, you missed again. Damn it. Ooh, nice piercing. Uh, you go regen their shields. I think that's acceptable. Wow. When you take damage, the game certainly tells you, hey, you're taking damage. <laughs> no questions about that. It's like... You're taking a lot of damage. Let's see if you can stun the man. Oh, you missed! It's obnoxious. Let's zap him. You missed the other thing twice now. Hey, you shot him. Good. Stop taking radiation damage. It's not what we agreed upon. Um, torment him, yes. I like. He's resisting all of that, huh? Bullshit. But good thing we have that shield regen. I think that's that's a, like a really good thing to have. It's a really good thing to have. I I should just mark with this guy. Okay, but he should now be getting ready to die. Really getting ready to die. There you go. Awesome. We got some new cool stuff. Credits and whatever that is. And credits, deck, and lifeline. Whatever lifeline is. Hello. I feel a disturbance in the force. I mean, my sensors are detecting something important in this room. Are you saying there is, uh... There's the stuff we need in this room. That's a toilet. There's something over here. Uh-huh. Hey, we got poison. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Is there anything in here? I think so. So we got poison now. We can go deliver the good old poison bag there where we need to deliver it. Now, I don't know if the thugs move around. I don't think so. I think they are like on set positions around here. So we shouldn't really be encountering anybody else. All right. Place the poison to kill the target. Poison placed. Mission completed. You want to go back to the agency? Yes. We could keep exploring, but let's go back. So, these guys lost 10 influence. That's kind of cool. Special assignment. We got plus 5. Everybody survived. We got 5 reputation. 10k credits. And 3.5 tech for that. Other information. We got this amount of money. And lifeline. And SPUs. Which I think we can use to upgrade our people. Same with plugins potentially that it got rank progress become proficient in blast this skill is now mastered we only used it like once <laughs> but that's good though that's good everybody got like half a level so one more mission and they're gonna be full uh, level all right good mission secret job completed with success we got 16,000 credits all that's good stuff good i like it so that's the diplomat, but this is where we're gonna finish this uh, gameplay showcase. I think uh, we went through two missions. You guys kind of got the idea how they work, how they operate. You got special assignments, you got special units that you can use and fight. And as you have seen, there's a lot of tech tree that you can go through. A lot of missions to do. I think this uh, game actually has... Uh, a lot of hours of potential gameplay so i'm looking forward to exploring this on my own but i hope you guys enjoyed it too and uh, let me know in the comments what you think otherwise uh, go check out uh, conglomerate 451 on steam and wishlist it because this is gonna definitely help the developers for now though thank you everybody for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time go crowd